Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Hilda, you ruined it. See, they're fine with going in a skull mask. That's okay. You know, that's that's definitely Mythic Dawn type stuff, but goats? No, no goats. <laughs> well, I guess I guess Hilda's ruined it for us. <laughs> Let's switch back into our stuff and kick some ass. <laughs>When we last left our fine feline friend Steve, we had taken on some of the forces of Merun's Dagon in the form of the mystic Dawn who had broken into Riel in the hopes of taking a great welkin stone. However, we have foiled their plans and we have took it for ourselves. And we bumped into the vigil of Stendar who obviously were on the trail of the mythic Dawn as well as we were leaving but we left it in Riel, and yet we are not in Riel anymore. We are here in Whiterun again, because... Boop, welcome back, Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. We got a little note uh, from a courier, pretty much as soon as we stepped out of that place. Uh, da, 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 we went over to Riften and did some selling and setting up of our fancy new vigil armor. Putting the fancy staff away as well. Where is it? It's, it's a letter from... There you are, Mila, Mila Valencia. Find another goldfish. Let's see what it says. I love my new goldfish. Thank you so much. But I think he's lonely. He needs a friend. Do you think you could bring me another goldfish for him to play with? I'm sure they would both be happy. Mila Valencia. Yes, we can. Because I ex... Well, I... I didn't... I won't say accidentally. I, I, I planned... When I found a goldfish, I planned on getting a bunch of them, and we did so happen to have an extra one available. So we will find... If she lets us in the house, she won't. Okay, well, let's wait an hour or so and see if they'll... Yep, she's about. Okay, where is she? She'll be over by the stand, I think, with her mum. At least I think it's her mum. She hangs out there a lot. Yeah, there she is. Okay, let's give her another goldfish. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's I got your letter. Most days, but hard work. It seems that you just stood here. <laughs> I cut your letter. Anyway, who, who doesn't like child labor? I cut your letter and I have a new companion for your golden friend right here. This is great. Wow, thanks. Is she going to keep it in the same place, in that little water trough? I feel like that's, that's considering how cold it gets in Skyrim, that thing's going to freeze over. You're going to have a goldfish popsicle, although... A goldfish, one of those species that can survive that? Because I know in Japan they've got the koi carp and they can survive a sort of frozen... There's a rift here in ...waterway for a wee while. Magic nor the of time. Oh, oh look at that. Here. We have a lot of fun. We look out for each other, just like any family. Oh. Thanks. Here, this is for you. How lovely. Note on very secret treasure. Ooh. Let's have a look at that. Note on. Wait. Oh, there we go. Mila's note on very secret treasure. Stop reading now, or I'll tell Mum and the gods it's illegal to read things that don't belong to you. If you're still reading, it must be because you're with friends, and I want you to have the treasure at my secret hiding spot. I have a place where I like to play behind Dragon's Reach. I pretend I have my very own vegetable stall, just like Mum. That's where I keep my best treasure. I keep it all locked up so Brave can't take it. My favourite flower is also in there, and a really big bug I found last week. I didn't kill it, it was dead when I found it. Honest. Uh, well, let's go check out what she gave us, I guess. Uh, is that the one? Yeah, it's up there. I've, I've pumped into it when I was investigating Dragon's Reach. I was looking for little secrets hidden behind stuff. And lo and behold, there is a secret up there that I don't remember being in the core game. So I figured it must be something to do with Creation Club stuff. Look, I said it right for once. I keep saying Content Creation Club, but it's not. It's the Creation Club. <laughs> It's Creation Club content. So, it, 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 I suppose I'm almost right. But as always, I've balled it up a little bit. Uh, let's go. Got, got some gold. We've got a doll. I don't want to take that. Some cabbages. Oh, that's a vegetable stall, of course. 
key. Ancestor Mothwig. Oh, they're, I think they're an enchanting ingredient, if I remember rightly. They could be useful. We'll take that, some gold, a hawk beak. Where the hell did you find that? A dart wing, some pearls, we'll take those. It's all good stuff. Neat. All right, well, we, like I said, the fishing stuff is kind of, for the most part, it's just standing and fishing, which I, I'm going to avoid putting on camera because it's, it's not the most entertaining stuff. But when it comes to these little side quests, we'll, 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 we will do those. I also, while I was here, managed to, uh, let's have a look, managed to get Forald, or not Forald, what's his name? Ab Abernathy or something, to actually talk to me without telling me to leave the house. And we've got, find a way to release Forald from the formal custody. So we've got a bunch of different things we can do here. We can either... Wear a set of Mythic Dawn robes. Oh, do I need to grab that again for that quest? Ooh. That's over by Riften as well, I believe. It would be nice to get that done today. Yeah, look, it's all the way over there. Champion's Rest as well. Locate the... Why is Champion's Rest there? What's that for? Who knows? Okay, let's, let's go back to Riften. But let's grab our Mythic Dawn set as well. I can't remember if I put them on a stand or have I still got them? No, I don't have them, so I must have put them away. Hmm. Hey, watch it. Or are they on Hilda? I don't think they're on Eric, because Eric would wear them, because he's a freak. It just feels right. What do you need? But we'll find what out. What do you need? No, nope, not like that. Yep, I want to talk to you. At first, I thought I... There. No problem. Right. How can I help? Have you got the Mythic Dawn stuff? No, you don't. Okay. Hilda Peter. is... Hilda's missing in action. Where the, where the hell is Hilda gone? Let's have a look. There you are. Hilda. I need you to carry something. Do you have the Mythic Dawn stuff? You do! Shoes, gloves, and robes. Excellent, so we don't need to go back to the house. Perfect. And I, I just had a feeling I hadn't set it up. Let's get our bow back. All right. All right, we're good to go. Have we actually got our... Yes, we do. We've got the right rings on now. Good, good, good. Let's get out of here. So yeah, in between episodes, I went to Riften, sold a bunch of stuff that we had that we didn't need, set up a bunch of stuff that we had that I want to keep, and did a little bit of enchanting. Only got a couple of levels, a couple of uh, points in enchanting, but you know, it's ticking up slowly, so it means that we are able to switch to two-handed quicker, hopefully. Need All right, let's go back to Riften. You, where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. While we're at it, why don't we pick up another fishing quest from Vriviana, whatever her name is. Hopefully no dragons today, because we did fight two last episode. Man, I've been having a look at... Oh, jeez. Maybe we'll have a sleep at our house as well. I've been having a look at the stuff from the Bethesda conference that they had. Starfield looks incredible. And we have a date now. September 6th seems to be the, the agreed-upon date. So I should probably start getting graphics for the for the for the like thumbnails and stuff set up because that shouldn't take too long i don't think i just want to make sure it looks good and that hopefully means on september 6th when starfield comes out we can have an episode come out the same day that would be kind of nice not sure if i can pull that off but uh we'll see how the schedule schedule goes yeah right we satisfied satisfied's good okay honor to you Right. Out to the docks. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. But it puts some coin in my pocket. Grab a fishing quest. And I think Oh. Oh there she is. Okay, cool. Yes? Um anyone need fishing work? You're headed to Morthal. Morthal. It's all in this note. Okay, cool. We've got a fishing contest. All right, mm -hmm. we'll do that at some point. 
Uh, obviously, like I said, these little quests are ones that we will we will actually do on camera. Right. So we're over this way, are we? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Okay. Let's go on a bit of a trek, shall we? Hop. But yeah, the gameplay looks incredible for Starfield. It's, it's got everything that I... <laughs> kind of dig in a game. It's got sci-fi, it's got fantasy, it's got exploration. I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm excited now. I, I've kind of kept from looking up too much of the game, because I don't really want to spoil it for myself. But seeing that has definitely, definitely piqued my interest. Before it had my curiosity, now it has my interest. Right. Let's go take on the Mythic Dawn. Actually, do we need to put our... Uh, we'll, we'll wait till we get a bit closer before switching to the robes, because who knows what we're going to have to fight along the way. Like a bear! Two bears. Wolves, as well. <laughs> Hopefully none of them. Oh, another bear. Uh oh hey, not too bad. Let's drive those elven arrows back. Yeah, we're, we're hidden. Okay, good. I'm worried I'd angered the rest of the burrs around here. Do feel like Tamba's got a point. Too many damn burrs. Oh. Spider too. Nice. Okay, right. I'm assuming we're close enough now that we should probably switch to the Mythic Dawn stuff. Don't mind me and my friend, my goat. <laughs> we're not possibly here to foil your plans. We are here to welcome Lord Dagon back into the fold, right? This is my plus one and a half. Oh, right. Are we up? We're there? Are we, are we done? Okay, no mythic dawn outside. That's... I know that yes, there is. Oh, Argonian too. Mm -hmm. Hi. Tidings. Yeah. Look at that. Red Scar Cavern. Just doing subterfuge, the ultimate stealth. Need something? Uh, no, 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 no. We're good. Don't mind me. It's kind of dark. Yes. Very cute winch bag. So how do we? Do we just drop down? Maybe we do. Unless there's like a path up there. There's a cave. There's like a little camp up here. Oh no, yeah, no, you can get down that way. Okay, cool. Yeah. Huh? What have we got? Gold, potion of healing, I'll take it. Silver ring, I'll take it. Fish barrel. I'll take all that. Fish barrel. I'll take all that. Hmm. Well, a bit of extra food, not bad. Oh, I... they're fishing down here, are they? Fair enough. Can we cook down here? No, I don't think we can. That? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Hilda, you ruined it. See, they're fine with a guy in a skull mask. That's okay. You know, that's that's definitely Mythic Dawn type stuff. But goats? No, no goats. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess Hilda's ruined it for us. <laughs> Let's switch back into our stuff and kick some ass. <laughs> right, unrelenting force. Take 
those. Uh, I'll take a second set. They're only they're only light. They're good to have. I can enchant one for our little magic playthrough that we do. Got him. Good job, Eric. Get to leave Hilda alone. Ooh, lots of rings and stuff too. Chasing him into the open, this is not... Oh shit! Who's over here? Good lord. The Freefer! Wow, they're stuck. Oh no, they're back. Okay. We tried stealth. <laughs> Hilda ruined it for us. Ooh. Oh, missed. Get your ass back here. There we go. Right. Salmon steak. Elven arrows. Some rings. Good. Right in the ass. Cool. Ooh. Some good stuff on them. Right, which is the way back? I guess we'll have a bit of a tinker. Make sure we've grabbed all the loot off everybody. Maybe even go back to the person at the entrance and take them on. Because I think at this point it's probably worth clearing it out completely. Oops. Who do we kill up here? We've looted them. They're gone. They're good. I think everyone else has already buggered off. How do we get up there? It's quite dramatic with the flag up there, isn't it? Yeah, so okay, it's just the dude on the outside. He He's already been fooled. We can probably leave him. There we go. Yeah, but how cool would it be to rock around in the Mythic Dawn gear for our magic playthrough? That's fun. Oh, they're after Hilda again, are they? Yeah, Hilda's drawing the fire. Oh, we can get another Freefer. <laughs> yeah, Hilda's, like, pulled the entire dungeon. Great. Thanks, Hilda. Wow, they really don't give a shit about me. They're really into Hilda. There we go. Another one down. What do we got? Barrel full of apples? Oh, I'll eat them. Sure, why not? Yeah, wow, there's a lot of dead bodies now. Cooked beef, take that. Ring of stamina? Sure, I'll take it. Gold ring? Sure. They've got a lot of jewellery, these guys. They find each other though? Is that Hilda trapped over there? It might be Hilda. Yeah, I'm clearing them out at least. Nice. Cool. Well, good distraction work, I guess, Hilda. <laughs> you asshole. Right. What have we got in here that we can loot? So I'm guessing... What is this? Oh, it's iron. Okay, cool. So that goes a little deeper, does it? Okay, 
don't want to go that way yet. Let's have a bit of an investigation, shall we? So this is just a little side area. Bit of loot, can't knock that. Poison, take it. Massive corpses in the corner here. Ooh, honey nut tree, yum. Blacksmith's potion, always good. Sack of flour, just gonna eat that. That seems really unwieldy to carry around. Maybe that's what they're using for protection from arrows, because it would absorb a blow if you stuck that down your, you know, down the front of your robes. Could probably get away with that. What is that? Corundum? Iron as well. Oh. So is this like a, is this a core game dungeon that they've just, no it can't be, this has got to be Creation Club stuff, right? Yeah, well, whatever it is. They've done a good job of it. It's a nicely, nicely set up dungeon. Very nicely built. I do like it. I oh, think I like where this is going. Well, I mean, we're heading to an oblivion gate. I, I can understand your trepidation, good sir. deeper have we got to go here? Wow. This go this goes real deep. Is this deeper than Blackreach? I mean, it's hard to tell with Blackreach, though, to be fair. Okay, that goes down there. So is this just more mine? It looks like it. Any... any people to... Oh, Quicksilver. And a chest. What do we got in the chest? Emerald, gold, gold ingot. I'll take it. Grand Soul Gem. She didn't say so All good stuff. Right, let's drop a quick save too, because I am stupid and I will probably die. Mythic Dawn Temple. Were we supposed to pick up a key? I don't remember seeing a key. Oh, there it is. Defeat Vonos. Can we hit him with a poison from here, I wonder? I'm assuming he's going to use magic like everyone else. So if we do po poison of damage, magic regen. We somehow managed to light that up. Ha. Huh. Is it supposed to do that? Or you I'm guessing it must be. Oh shit! Can we get a sneak shot on? It's a shame they didn't get them all to share for Lord Dagon! I feel it's a lost opportunity. Bonk. Oh. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's just have a check around before we... I'm, I'm assuming we can head through there. That does... If we can, that's really fucking cool. <laughs> Excuse my language. That's a really cool thing to be able to add. Uh, what is that? It's red, whatever it is. I did see like a dog or something up here. Oh no, it's Hilda. <laughs> Hilda's just chilling up here. She was getting a good vantage point, apparently. Uh, right, so... Where's Vonos? There's a dude. Oh, this is his brother. Man, they just left him here this entire time. Daedric Dagger taking it because it is not enchanted and that is a rare thing for a Daedric Dagger. 
Cool, Vonos. A journal, a catfish, we'll take that. Wine and mead, we'll take those too. Fancy stuff. Another Daedra dagger. Ooh, we could do a dual wielding dagger light armor build for a bit at some point as well, because we, yeah, we're not going to reset. I suppose we could reset one handed at some point soon as well. Hmm. Anyway, Vonus's journal. Let's have a read of that, shall we? Actually, before we have a read of that, is there a way up this one? Um, yeah, there is. Hang on. Let's go check this place out, make sure there's nothing we've missed. Oh. Ah, the poop bucket. Overseeing the oblivion gate. Nice. Very classy. Good job. <laughs> Oh, they're part. Ah, oh, these are bits of an oblivion gate. So obviously, like they said, they've cobbled it together out of old pieces. Man, they look cool. I am dropping a save here because we will get a quick save for. Uh, uh, sorry, screenshot for that. Right. Um, let's have a look at the book, shall we? It was Vonos's journal. Third mid year, fourth era, two hundred. The voice of Mehrun's Dagon permeates our dreams, my dreams. At first it was a whisper, but it has become a roar inside our skull. The seeds of strife and violence plague this land, the soil enriched by the blood of battle. Tamriel will soon be ripe again for the taking, for my vengeance is at hand, the voice says to me. I must heed his voice, what must I do, my lord? Twelfth, mid-year, fourth era, two hundred. I don't know if I'm saying it like that. I have spent countless hours, countless days in prayer to Dagon and have heard nothing. I finally took rest and had another dream. Dreams of fire and smoke, heat upon heat. I was descending into a cavern, further and further down, the heat began to cook and blister my skin. But I kept moving, ever downward, fire and smoke, heat and rock, and then I saw it, the very mouth of Dagon an oblivion gate. With a blinding flash, I then began to have visions of Akatosh, visions of dragons. What could be the meaning of this? I awoke covered in sweat and with a deep sense of purpose. I feel drawn eastward. I must heed the call. 15 Sun's Height, 4th Era 200. Dagon's voice has led me to a cavern, deep within the Velofi Mountains. His worshippers used to gather here. I feel their presence. I feel his power. An oblivion gate is buried here. I can feel it. It is my destiny to reach it. I will spend night and day with pickaxe in hand until it is freed from this prison of stone. Sip half fire, fourth era 200. Wow, this isn't like mega long, <laughs> Jesus. For nearly two months I have toiled digging deeper and deeper, stopping only to rest, stone by stone inching ever closer to my destina destiny, ever closer to the fires of oblivion. Others have begun to heed Dagon's call and have found their way here, to me, to our lord. We are the high priests of the new order, the chosen few who are attuned to his will. As we traverse deeper, the remnants of an ancient mythic dawn temple are revealed like diamond from the rock. Priest Vitus was the first to discover the gate's stone. My ecstasy was short-lived, however, when I found, like every other gate, it had been destroyed. Still, I could feel its power like heat against my skin. Many other pieces like this are scattered throughout the lands of Skyrim, buried deep, lost to time. We shall find them. We shall open the jaws of oblivion once again. Fourth, Morning Star, Fourth Era 201. Visions of dragons cloud my dreams once more. Images of Martin Septim and Akatosh that make my blood burn with anger and vengeance. Black wings unfurling against a red sky. Do not yet understand the meaning of these visions, but Dagon's hatred has become a burning coal in the pit of my stomach, driving me ever forward. 21st Second Seed, 4th Era 201. Over the last several months we have searched the deepest reaches of Skyrim and have retrieved enough remnants of the various shattered Oblivion Gates to make one whole again. 
its very presence inspires power, awe and reverence. A pact must now be made. Dagon requires that each of us offer a personal sacrifice, a blood offering to prove our dedication. With each soul cast into the fires of oblivion, his power grows. The liminal barrier is weak here, and the turmoil and conflict boiling in the lands only weakens it further. I must now summon a Dramora, Lord, to acquire a sigil stone. Find a way to open the gate. 10th Sun's Height, 4th Era, 201. I have performed the rites as dictated in the liminal bridges, and successfully penetrated the barrier into the realm of oblivion. But my attempts to use the gate as a vessel of transliminal attunement have failed. The portal of oblivion is thin and temporary, as one might expect. I have smelled the sweet sulphur of the Deadlands, but only for fleeting moments of time. I have studied all there is to know of the Mysterium Xerxes. I have been to Dawnstar on countless occasions to observe its last remaining page. Yet the necessary piece has remained a mystery. As I pray to Dagon for guidance, and confer with his Dramora, I understand now that the Sigil Stone is simply not powerful enough on its own. Something stronger may be required to open the gate, but what kind of artifact could hold such power? I have dispatched the most loyal of my disciples to all corners of Tamriel to search for any artifacts of source of power worthy of becoming the key to oblivion. I must remain patient and trust Dagon's will. 20th Sun's Height, 4th Era, 201 I have received word from my scouts that a great welcome stone may be hidden within Riel, an ancient Aelid ruin. Could this be the source of power needed to open the gate? It very well may be. How delicious the irony, an object once used against Dagon becoming the very thing that unleashes his power back into the mortal realm. My scouts are working diligently to uncover any further information. They can. And as I continue to pray to Dagon for guidance, his voice says to me, Patience, all shall be revealed in time. Second, I seed fourth era 201. Curse the vigil of Stendar. They have blocked the Pale Pass through the Geral Mountains, making access to Riel an impossibility. We cannot risk exposing our plans. We must find another way. If we cannot make our way into Cyrodiil by road, we will do so by force, directly through the mountains. We have done it once to get to the sacred place, and we shall do it again. I have dispatched a team to begin excavation immediately. 14th Last Seed, 4th Era, 201. Fevered visions haunt my dreams once more, and as the time draws near, I now understand what must be done. The Dragonborn prophecy foretells a chosen one will come forth. The blood and soul blessed by Akatosh himself, the Dovahkiin. Time wound will open and Alduin the World Eater shall return. Though battle are both are fragments of Akatosh's soul, these two will wage war against one another, and as children of Akatosh they will reap the vengeance of Mehrun's Dagon. But pain and suffering nor death will satisfy, only the ultimate betrayal will suffice. To open the Oblivion Gate a ritual of the highest order must be carefully designed. An artifact of untold power must be corrupted great sacrifice made, and above all, the Dragonborn must become the unwitting instrument of Dagon's will. Shit. It was us. We, we opened the gate. Okay. I will become the sacrifice. Oh, fuck. He wanted us to kill him. Oh, my God. What a devious plan. This is a really well-written quest. I will become the sacrifice, the final step, and as the Dovahkin takes my life with a blade in one hand and Great Welkin Stone, well it wasn't a blade, but eh, close enough, Great Welkin Stone in the other, they will complete the ritual and become the very key to opening the gate. This ultimate betrayal will shatter the liminal barrier, opening the Oblivion Gate and giving Dagon a foothold in the mortal realm while he re rebuilds his armies. It is a divine plan beyond anything I could have comprehended. The world will be bathed in the fires of oblivion and the blood of mortals will be on the hands of Akatosh. None can be made aware of this plan. It is too fragile, too perfect. Yeah, fair enough. That is... Damn. 17th last seed, 4th era, 201. It has begun. Alduin has returned. Scorvild has been missing for several days. After witnessing his brother being sacrificed, his spirit broke and he deserted the order. Just as I planned. This is some 3D chess shit. Holy crap. 
he will seek out the Dragonborn for help, and once he his role has been fulfilled, he will be slaughtered. The Dragonborn, in his er in their arrogance, will continue to be the embodiment of ambition, much to Dagon's much to Dagon's pleasure. They will no doubt seek to obtain the Great Welkin Stone. They will then return to me and will then do the final act. The, the ritual will begin. And when they do, sorry, the final ritual, act of the ritual will begin. Priestess Anna Kane has been taken captive by the vigil of Stendhal, but she too serves a greater purpose. Her spirit will not break, but she will lead the vigil where they need to be to aid the Dragonborn. Holy crap! Where they will utterly fail... The Doverkin will succeed. The success will be short-lived. The Sigil Stone has been destroyed, ensuring the gate will remain open. Oh, moreover, two of Dagon's Dramora, Valkanek, uh, Gitanus, and Methats. <laughs> Wait, I like the name Methat. <laughs> Waiting to the dead in the Deadlands to lead the assault. They are the heralds of the coming siege, and through their work we will unleash a scourge of torment upon our lord's enemies. The dawn is breaking. Holy shit! Wow! Well, I guess we go in then. We've got a bit of time. Hopefully we could... Wow, alright. Um, Welcome to Oblivion. Jesus. Oh, we've got the ingredients too. Can we, can we grab it? Yeah, we can. Let's grab as much of this as we can. I'm assuming that the gate stays open so we can return and get more ingredients, right? That feels like the reason it stays open. At least I would assume it stays open. Oh shit, I forgot about those. Don't get too far ahead. <laughs> scared the hell out of me. Daedric mail. Oh, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll give it to... Eric, if we have to. Oh god, I forgot about those. Well, they're a pain in the ass, but the good good things. Ember. Staff of Inspiration, Elven, Elven Helmet of Major Alteration. Okay, cool. Nothing really particularly necessary for us to keep, but good money, nonetheless. Look at that. Ah. Oh. In much higher reson in much higher resolution as well. I don't think I like where this is going. <laughs> Dude, we're already there. We <laughs> this is hell. Welcome, welcome to hell. Have they got the the old spinada, whatever they're called, the farting plants? Where are they? Is there anything up here? Feels like there should be, right? It feels like there should be something up here. Yeah, the lava looks a lot better. Less like uh, Minecraft lava, you know, the old baked beans stuff. Actually, looks kind of, kind of good. Right. Oh, you know, we do look. There's the farting plants. Spittle, spittle, not spinner. <laughs> Fart all over us. We're gonna wheeze a bit. All the ingredients. Harada. Spittle. Spittle. Anything else over this way? More of that stuff. Oh, jeez. Wow, we are getting our asses kicked in here. But it looks like there's some stuff over here for us to harvest, at least. Oh yeah, look, we got all the fleshy pods and stuff. All oh, cool stuff. We've got that, but we'll take it anyway. Looks like, worst case scenario, we dump it. Anything up here? Like, I feel like we've got to, we've got to explore everything here, right? We've got it. What's this? Ebony ore? Huh. Oh, we can't go any further either. Like, it stops us. There's an invisible wall here. Can we mine that? I'm in combat. What am I in combat with? Uh, maybe it's... Ev you're, you're just in combat in here. Oh, no. There is there is a... A Dramora. Oh, it's the, it's the dude. I'll <laughs> Oh, 
At least it's a good source of Daedra hearts, right? Ooh. Eric, watch out. Got him. Alright, so maybe we can mine the ebony. Maybe we should mine the ebony. Glass Warax of the Blaze? Nah, I'm not taking that. So let's see, can we actually mine it now? Are we out of combat? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we can. Neat. Now, I'm assuming it's not going to have the full... Like, if they said the Sigil Stone is destroyed so we can't close the gate, I'm assuming we can't go into the actual tower itself, right? Because that'd be wild. That'd be wild if we could do that. No, if... if maybe. Maybe we can. Anyway, let's get down here. Let's let's harvest a bunch of stuff. Got another fleshy pot. Fire stones. Excuse me, got a hiccup there. Lovely side effect of my medication. That we've got some more blood grass. Got a more blood grass. How how quick is this gonna kill me? Oh, very quick. Alright, good to know. Can't swim in that. Oh shit, we did it again. And we're on. Oh fuck. <laughs> I don't think we quick save when we came here. God, it just. Come on. It's <laughs> a little mean. Alright, well, fine. Uh, you know what? I, I won't harvest everything. We won't go through the pods. What we will do is we'll track down what we're supposed to be doing, and then in between episodes, I'll finish off basically looting everything in here. Um. Because I don't, I think it's all generic sort of loot and you know ingredients. Let's let's focus on what is that. I don't think I like where this is going. Yeah, what is that? Where's my glass arrow gone? What? That's a horse. Is that like a demon horse? Yeah, we'll see what kind of fancy stuff that we're actually supposed to be doing by, I guess. Taking on the Daedra in here? Ooh, we got farted on. Ooh, there's more of them farting on me. Ugh. There we go, right. So obviously we aggravated a Dremora from over here somewhere. Maybe we got a bit too close or something? Oh. Now these are just reg regular Dremora. Oh, they've got the Afflicted too. Do you remember those? Oops, sorry, Eric. Hey, be careful. Yeah, I apologize. What do we got here? I want to look in this. The Punish, not Afflicted. Oh, can you hear the beating? Oh, that's gross. I love it. Oh, it actually beats. Oh, rancid. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Who are you? No one. There's our friend. It's Math Hat. Oh, he's very healthy. Holy shit, this is going to be a battle and a half, I think. Getting the slowly but surely. Oh, so that's the other one. Oh dear, we may be in trouble with these lot. Uh oh, uh oh, Are we out of arrows? Oh shit, I think we are. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. 
this this may be a problem let's do that and our jewel necklace then we've got our unrelenting force is up We got them. This is not too bad, actually. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage, though. Um, let's go with some extreme healing. And do we have a minor one? Like, maybe 45 health? What if I one-handed? Sure. Let's that one down. Got you. Retrieve Torment. Let's Torment. Fire assaults. We'll take that. Okay, another one here. Oh, yeah, we can get some of our stuff back. Oh, no! No, Eric! Oh, shit. Oh, I don't want Eric to die! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Is he actually dead there? Oh, he's not dead there. Oh, it's the unrelenting force that killed him. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's, let's try that again. At least we know he's not dead here. Right, let's get back over here. Let's lead them away. Okay, we've got that. Let's do some fortify health, one-handed, and our... Okay. He's down. Meth Hat is down. Torment. That? Ooh, that's cool. I wonder what model that's based off. Maybe something in Morrowind, maybe? I don't remember that in Oblivion. Daedra Heart, sure, sure. Take this one as well. Oh no, we've already got that one. Um, that away then. Where's the other one gone? Oh, is that? Right. Take those, that, that. Okay, Eric is back up. He's not dead. We didn't kill him. Good, good, good. Jeez, I couldn't live with myself killing another, <laughs> another companion in some weird place. Benor in Cyrodiil in, a, in an Aelid ruin, and then poor Eric in the, in the, in the middle of freaking oblivion. Here, Eric. Uh, thanks. Not sure it was necessary. It was necessary. Trust me, you had no health left. Okay, right. So what do we got here? Nothing. It's just a big old pile of nothing. Anyway, like I said, we will explore that in between episodes. So let's, I guess, continue round. Is this like one linear dungeon as such? It looks like it might be. Yeah, there's a flame match neck. And there is a caitiff. Wow, did he just knock the shit out of it? Oh no, it just moved very quickly. I can't seem to hit it for shit. There we go. So we've got a flame atronic, some glass arrows, and where's the caitiff gone? Yeah, where did the caitiff go? I want that Daedra heart. Here we go, there we go. Right. Let's see, there's another punished there, beaten away. Maybe, maybe it's. Maybe it's not linear. Maybe there are two paths, because this seems to be a dead end. Interesting, nonetheless, but uh, do we... Let's let's grab what we can from here, then. Waning Shock, don't need that. Ultimate Healing, do need that. Let's grab a few things from here so we don't have to come back here. Eh, no, none of those are really useful. I don't remember the Deadland having trees. I could be wrong on that. 
Ooh, more ebony. Let's grab that too. I think this episode might be a little longer than the uh, other two for this sort of set of three that we're doing, but honestly, we might as well. We might as well get this over and done with and then, like, you know, raid it in between as such. Quick save as well, because if it's anything like Oblivion, it will crash. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a dead end. Okay, so we must have to go back the other way. No, I'm not going to raid everything. Like I said, I, I, will, I will do that in between episodes. Because there's a lot of stuff, and I think if we end up raiding everything on the way back to this next pathway, we're going to be here a hell of a long time. Ow. Yeah, there's the second pathway. Okay, good. Oh, he was invisible. I wondered why we could hear him but not see him. No, Daedra Heart, I'll take it. Oh shit. Oh my god. How much damage did we get take there? missed again. Oh, we missed again. Come on, you little asshole. Ah. Look at this true shot. Well, that's kind of useful, to be honest. Fire salt, steel arrow. We'll take it. So where is the correct path? I'm guessing it's just follow the path. Why like, that feels <laughs> fairly logical. Yeah, there we go, there's another sort of throne up there, by the looks of it. And a, there's the demon horse. Katanas, it is the... Katanas, it's the other guy. Oops. I don't know if we were supposed to fight that. Okay, let's get our... Sh Sword. Wherever our sword is. Weapons. Why is that not on the. Nice. Right. Scorch. Ooh. That looks badass too. Yeah, I wonder where they got the models for this. Adric Gauntlets of Negate Office of Negotiation. <laughs> yeah, Negation. Okay, cool. Take that too. Right, so I guess we killed the Daedric Horse? Oh. Fire Salts? Cool. Conjured Daedric Horse. Oh, we've got like a permanent horse now. Neat. I'm taking that. Alright, well, I guess that's all we have to do here? Don't remember seeing anything else. The. Uh, as far as quests, let's look at the quest. Is there any quest on it? Return to Tamriel. No, it's just Return to Tamriel. Okay, well, I will go through and clear this out of all the ingredients and stuff we can loot that we want. And next episode, we will, I guess, start off on here and head back to Tamriel to finish the quest. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now. Is it Kajit?